Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Regina. Just in case you're new to the channel, I am coming to today to bring you uh, the news about uh, Sean, Sean Puppy Combs. He has been in the news, in the headlines um, for quite some time now, and it hasn't been good. And so now there are court papers that have been filed against him um, by individual by the name of Mr. Jones. So we're going to go ahead and bring up the court documents here. Um, what I want to do is shed light on the issue, not to bring him down, not to, because he's doing that all by himself, but for us to be awakened of the times that we're living in right now. And hopefully it will shake us to the point that we will come away from the world and come to God. Because these things that are happening, it, it, this is just the tip of the iceberg. God is going to tear down every powerful person that's not uplifted, as well as us. He is not playing any games. He is tired of his world being turned upside down. He is tired of his name being mocked. He is tired, period. So we're going to go ahead and bring this story, and then we're just going to bring in the word um, from God. So let's go ahead and begin this. And I'm going to share my screen with you all for the court documents here. So this is from United States Federal Court of New York. And this is the plaintiff here, Rodney Jones. And as you can see, his name is first. This is his son. And these are his employees. All right. So there is a warning here. Trigger warning. This document contains highly graphic information of a inappropriate nature, including this. Additionally, there are graphic images of the aftermath of a bang bang. Um, as you can see here, this is going to be uh, images of this. Uh, it contains minors, night workers, and bang bangs and mind altering meds is the best way I can put it. I'm paraphrasing because certain things you cannot say on your YouTube channel. So I'm being respectful of YouTube and also of my spirit as well. So it reads as follows. Plaintiff Rodney L. So he is going to go by Little Rod Jones. Mr. Jones. Um, I don't have an image of him. So you guys can go ahead and Google that information just to pull that up. If I do have time in this video, I'll pull up um, as many images as I can for, for you all if you're not familiar with uh, the individuals here. He alleges as and for his complaint against defendant Sean Combs. And I knew this was coming because there was too much being said, too many allegations um, that was surrounding this. And everything that I say outside of this document 
that's here is alleged. And I, even this document is, uh, I'm going to list that as, as well. So let's go back over here. Um, you, you guys know this is who this is. Okay. And we're just going to go back to that document. And this is how I found it. So let me get back up here. All right, here we are. Um, so these are the defendants that's listed here. There is his son, Justin Dior Combs, defendant Lucian Charles Grange, Ethiopia Hibatrimen, and I know I butchered that name, I apologize. Uh, Christina Gorham, Shalice Recording Studios, this is defendant uh love records that's here motown records which we all are familiar with and most of us if you're my age grew up with listening to uh their music um and um these others that are here as well uh universal music Defendant Combs Global Enterprise. And then we go into jurisdiction and venue. This court has personal jurisdiction over the defendants under and consistent with the constitutional requirements of due process in that the defendants acting directly or through his agents or apparent agents committed one or more of the following a the transactions of any business within the states the making of any contract within the state the commission of a notorious act within this district and d the ownership use or possession of any real estate in this state according to this this was filed from september 20th 2022 to the date of this filing defendants have consistently and purposefully availed themselves of the privilege of conducting activity within new york thus invoking the benefits and protections of New York law. In return for these benefits and protections, defendants must submit to the burdens of lit lit hmm. litigation in New York. I'm sorry, y'all. I just got off work and I've been running my mouth all day with customers. This litigation arises from or, rel or relates to the tortious acts defendants visited upon defendants in the state of New York, California, Florida, and the United States Virgin Islands. So they've been going to these states and committing acts of illegal activity in these particular states is what it's reading. This torturous conduct violated United States federal RICO laws. Number four, requiring defendants to litigate these claims in the district does not offend traditional notions of fair play and substantial justice. Plaintiffs claims arise from some con conduct 
occurring by defendants in New York. So in other words, it started in New York and then went to these other states. So Mr. Jones is an American artist and music producer. He produced a lot of music for Sean. Mr. Jones resides in the states of New York and California. Six, defendant Sean Combs is a rapper and record executive popularly known by his stage name, multiple names, Puff Daddy, Puffy, P. Diddy, Diddy, Brother Love, or Love. Mr. Combs came to fame in the early 1990s with his record label, Bad Boy Records. He rose to prominence in the music and entertainment industry over the decades and is regularly referred to as a hip hop mogul. Mr. Cone resides at 200 South Mapleton Drive, Beverly Hills, California, 924 is the zip code. Here's a picture of him. As you can see, he's not aging very well. This is a uh, this is due to not living a good life. This is due to not living according to God's will. We're gonna move on. Defendant Justin Dior Combs, the son of Mr. Combs and Misa. Hilton, Jay Combs was born on December 30th, 1993. Jay Combs is a producer and actor. He has appeared on TV series like Catfish, the TV show, Wild and Out, and Hip Hop Squares. Defendant Justin Dior Combs resides at that address. That's a picture of his son. Mm -mm -mm. Let me say this. Let me say this, guys. We as parents, and this is in the Bible, we have a responsibility not only to ourselves, but to the children that we bear, to the children that we make, to guide them to God and to eternal salvation. We have a responsibility. This is our duty as parents. Yes, as, as much as you take your child to church, as much as you live the right life will there sometimes be times where your children won't um live up to those expectations and live up to what god requires and i'm gonna use a lot of what god requires because a lot of us were getting hung up on uh well i don't want to do what the bible say because this that and the third well, that's God's policy and procedure book, if if you want to put it like that. See, I'm, I'm trying to stay on focus because when it comes to the Bible, <laughs> too much controversy around that, right? People want to say, well, man wrote that book or God didn't have anything to do with that. And it's too many rules in there and i'm gonna make a video about that but for right now you must take away from this that you are accountable for teaching and guiding your children whatever children they may be up under you like i'm raising my grandchildren it is my responsibility to make sure that I teach them the word of God, 
to teach them God's way and what he wants and what he commands. Otherwise, I'll be held accountable. I'm going to be held accountable for that. And so will you. So I need you to understand that. And that's why I came away from the document. So let's go ahead and go back over there. All right. Mr. Um, Charles Grange is also uh, listed in this. He is the CEO um, of the Universal Music Group. They listed his address. And this is the uh, picture of him. All right. Let me... Okay, this is uh, Ethiopia... Haptumarian. Uh, she is former CEO of the defendant of uh, defendant Motown Records, uh, the pro, the parent company of Love Records. All right. We also have um, KK here, chief of staff to Sean Diddy Combs. All right. Let me break away from this part here. This down here, like so, just in case I need to come away from here. All right. Now, I'm just going to scroll past some of this. Let me look at something quickly here. Because there's certain things you cannot show on here. So this picture, the faces are blurred out on here. So I don't want to show that information. All right. Mr. Jones is considered a musical prodigy. His talents have led him to produce and create a commercial marketplace for the music that have, has been recorded by some of the most prestigious and highly acclaimed artists in music history. And then it gives a breakdown of um, who's he, who he's worked with. So. Throughout the duration of his career, Mr. Jones has worked the south side of Chicago music scene, playing with the following legendary greats. Georgia Mass Choir. I know all of us should remember that if you're around my age group. Donald Lawrence, the Clark Sisters, and the Smokey Norfolk. All right, now. Hmm. On or, or about August 20th, 2022, Mr. Jones received a call from Mr. Combs requesting that he produce several songs on a rhythm and blues album titled The Love Album Off the Grid. Mr. Jones agreed and his life has been tremendously, tremendously impacted ever since so he felt the wrath of the devil right away when he intertwined his life with sean okay that's what it says he lived with Mr. Combs for months at a time, spending holidays, birthdays, and missing major family events. So this, this is what abusers do. They will take you and isolate you away from your family. If you feel that this is happening, 
try to get away as soon as you can. The sooner the better. Because that way, when you see these red flags, you're not so much overtaken. Unfortunately, this young man was in awe with the fame and with the fortune and and the money and being around, you know, someone that's been named a musical mogul. So he was engulfed in this. Plus, he was made promises of things. Uh, Sean promised him uh, his home at one particular time. Never gave him that. Uh, This document goes into great detail of everything. There was a pow-pow at one of his um, parties. And reading this document, um <laughs> the police the way i under oh my goodness they're sh- showing footage of pictures of the bathroom after the pow pow and there's red everywhere basically uh sean instructed his crew to basically cover up where the pow pow took place, where the bang bang took place. um, And told them to not incriminate him, basically, that the bang bang took place in his bathroom. Um, It's very disturbing. And this is how the devil moves. He doesn't care if anybody gets killed. He's promised this young man a Grammy. But he had to do these things, these S-E-X things, this 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 is just graphic and no wonder it cannot be shown um guys omg there's even mention of cuba gooden jr in here i remember a while back i read a story about um his troubles with the law uh, he's named in here. T.D. Jakes is named in here as being one to, to his presence was supposed to make people feel comfortable um, in this atmosphere. And I'm not sure if T.D. Jakes knew that he was being used as a pawn um, for that. Um I tend to look at people in a positive light. Uh, so I'm I'm going to assume <laughs> that he doesn't know that he was being used as a pawn in these horrific acts. There were minors that had been give had been given mind altering substances right this right here i can show you so here is the image of when this was seen so there would be a a hat uh and it would indicate to all the workers the s workers that uh, Mr. Combs was in town. So they knew that this was, go- excuse me, that this was going to be a time for, um, for, you know, things to let it rain. Mr. Jones has made um claim that 
he was forced to do the S with these S workers. He even woke up, he said, um, bear next to one of the uh, S workers and also uh, Mr. Combs was in, in there too. Okay, let me do this again here because this image is on here that it, it, it's just not good. There was um, mention of, again, Cuba Gooding Jr. forcibly touching Mr. Jones in places that he did not want to be handled. And it didn't stop until Mr. Jones pushed him away. Guys, this is horrible. There's mention of also J-Lo, where at one time they were in the club and Mr. Combs gave J-Lo the bang bang. And then when they got inside the club, they handed off, she handed Combs the bang bang when he got into an altercation with an individual inside the club. I, and I've been wondering why she hadn't spoke out about anything. And I'm actually glad that she got away from this nonsense. She probably saw where this was headed to and was like, I'm out of here. And I'm glad about that. Now we just need to pray for her to come and give her life over to God so she can stop uh, singing that uh, secular music. Okay, let's see what else is in here. <sighs> this is this is it right here. Let me show you this part. All right, this young man. Let me bring him down. This is uh, Fahim Muhammad. All right, and this is what is being said here. Mr. Combs instructed instructs his staff to always contact Mr. Muhammad if they are ever pulled over by the police in Miami or California. Upon information and belief, Mr. Muhammad spoke with the LAPD. This is not Gina saying this. Hold on, let me let me um let me get this up here. So no one can say this is me saying this. Okay. Spoke with the LAPD after G was banged at CRS. The LAPD was in CRS and witnessed the blood in the restroom. And they went with the bogus claim that the bang of G occurred outside the studio. Let that sink in just for a second. This is in black and white, guys. This is in the court documents. Of course, everything is alleged until, you know, everything goes to court. Wow. This was all thanks to Mr. Muhammad's connections 
with law enforcement. So if anyone is questioning why this young man stayed so long with Mr. Combs, this is why he has witnessed bang bangs up close and in person and in person. He has been groomed. He has been threatened. Mr. Combs has a tendency to threaten and say he's going to eat his face. And if that is not of the devil, I don't know what he is. So if you've never been in a situation like this before, you won't understand the mental that you go through, that a person goes through when they are in a, an abusive relationship. This, this is an abusive relationship, no matter how you look at it, even though it's man and man. This is why God has said it is a no-go for homosexual behavior. Nothing good comes out of this. Look at this. It is no secret that Mr. Combs had specific bottles of alcohol de designated for females and other bottles designated for his staff, his artist, and himself. So you take away what you need to take away from that. This is horrible and it keeps going and going and going <sighs> listen look at this one this writer has spoken with several former employees i had to make sure when one time for me to go get my grandbaby um who witnessed defendant Gorham instruct her staff to lace champagne, De Leon, and Syrah liquor bottles with E and other EDs. This is only the tip of the iceberg. I, I know that he did not think that this time was not going to come. God is only going to let things happen for so long because he's giving the person a chance to turn their life around, to repent, to stop, to turn away from the devil and come to him wholeheartedly he will give you a chance yes it's unfortunate that this young man has had to endure this abuse because he too had an option to not go into this music industry at all you cannot serve the devil and think that it's going to be good things every single time the devil is very cunning. He will wrap things up in a bow and make them look so pretty and so enticing that how can you say no to this? And that's what happened to this young man. That's what happens to a lot of young men under these circumstances. That's what happens to a lot of young ladies in this circumstance they want the glamour they want the glitter they want the fame and fortune and all the all the everything that goes with it and this is what happens when you choose the path of the devil 
this is what happens. All right, let me click off of this for a second because I don't know what these photos are that's coming up here. <clears throat> It's so important for us to get right with God, to repent. Okay, this is everything they showing. They showing everything on here. And if you guys want to see this, it's it's on the internet. All you have to do is just Google it. You saw me where I was at. Chris Brown is mentioned. Um, mm. You can guess um, who they're talking about in here. Allegedly, um, he was involved in this in compromising positions. Oh, my goodness. I'm just looking through all of this. This is overwhelming. Racketeering. Uh, let's see. My goodness. If we just we just gotta we gotta turn our lives around. And I know when we're in 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 positions such as pastors and reverends and bishops and 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 men of God when you slip up and you do things that you know you shouldn't be doing and you get caught up in things that you know you should not be caught up in and let me just say this about um td jakes had he been um ministering to sean That's one thing, but these accusations that's coming out about him, and I was an advocate listener of T.D. Jakes. Before that news broke, I say maybe two months prior to that news breaking about him, something told me to stop listening to him, and I just didn't listen to him anymore, and then, then that came out. But God did send us to minister to the sinners because that's what he wants us to do. He wants us to win the souls of the lost and have them to come and repent their sins and come to God so their souls can be cleansed and they can make it into heaven. Yes. So he He is in fact supposed to go and minister to uh, the shans of the world that would include everybody that's doing the secular music taylor swift beyonce uh mary j blash and 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 i i was a mary j blash i was i was right there uh the chris browns Rihanna's, um, Keisha Cole's, um, and I'm not picking on these, on the artists. I'm not, I promise you I'm not, but I am begging for them to turn their lives around. Use your gifts to make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Our, our rappers, you don't have to rap about Colin us the b word or the h word or um degrading us um 
and using all the vulgar language, you can use your rap skills to rap for the Lord. And I hope that I'm making myself perfectly clear because anybody that know me know that I am all about love. I will hug you. I don't care if you're a stranger or not. I will hug you. There's always a smile on my face wherever I go. And if I get an opportunity, which is most of the time to spread the good news of the Lord, that's what I do. That's what I do. And I have so many, I'm done with this um, report here. Um, because I just can't do it anymore. And I apologize for the video being grainy. Uh, like I said, this is a, a new something for me. But I'm begging every soul that is out there and you are not living the way that you know you're supposed to live. I invite you to give your life to God. Find someone, a pastor, that that you just find somebody or just you, fall on your knees. You don't even have to find somebody and just ask God for forgiveness for all of your sins. Get in your word, read your Bible because we have to make sure we are at the pearly gates when he comes back here to get his people. I'm still working on myself. I still I have to make adjustments so I can get back in the word like I'm supposed to be. But that doesn't stop me from reaching out and encouraging someone else to get on the right path. We all have to do this together. And this is my message to you. This is why I'm going to focus on these type of videos because it is so so detrimental that we wipe out the devil as much as we can and i leave you with this know that god loves you also know that he will chastise you because he loves you so don't turn your back when you hear someone that's giving you a testimony and that's giving you a scripture to show you that, hey, brother, my sister, you're not on the right path. This is where you need to go. Don't become defensive. Have an open heart. Have an open mind. And take a look at yourself. Take accountability for your actions and make the necessary changes that you need to make. And it's not going to happen overnight. No. We came in, we were born in sin. So it's going to take a minute to get right. And even then, you will not be a perfect being. We are still going to sin. And that's why he gives us the grace of forgiveness. I pray that Sean and, and everybody else that is involved in this lawsuit called out or not called out in this, in this case gives their life to God and asks for repentance. Ask the God ask God for forgiveness because this hurt cannot continue. It's only going to end up with someone losing their life when it don't have to happen. It's going to continue to happen to those young people that see only the good in this industry and it's up to us god's children to show them that that's not the way 
God too has glitz and glamour. Remember that. All right, friends, I will talk to you soon. Be blessed, my sisters and brothers. Be blessed. I still say my fancy beauties and bows. Be blessed. Stay focused on God. And just remember, his goodness outweighs everything that you could possibly see on the devil's side. All right.